Tonight's episode, we're going to talk about a film called Carlton in 2022, a one hour and 20 minute horror released June 16th, 2022. Storyline, Coffee discovers there's a demonic entity named Haiti killing the children of Carlton. She fears her daughter Layla is next. In order to defeat Haiti, she has to battle her inner demons and grow strong in her faith. Directed by Derek Hammond. Written by Jerrica Carr. Here's the cast. Sarah Vaughn Perry as Hattie. Danny Trejo as Wells. Bill Cobbs as Dr. Mason. Caddy Ann White as Coffee. Kiara Pitts as Layla. Eric Roberts as Sheriff Ridley. David Haynes as Nolan. April Bogenschutz as Aaron. Bill Overs Jr. as Bishop Oliver. And Aaron Sanderson as Dr. Taylor. Now here's a film that uh, I only picked it to watch because of Bill Overs Jr. Shame on me, I guess. Um, I've been a fan of him since 2010, so I wanted to see what's going on here. This movie is another movie that I didn't know if I was going to like it or not, but it turns out that it really is a nice paced film. Um, I'm just a big fan of Danny Trejo as well, and Bill Cobbs, and of course Bill Overs Jr. Story goes, Coffee is a young lady who had her issues when she was younger. So her daughter was put into her parents' custody until she gets better. Now, in the meantime, she has a brother who apparently must have died in an accident that really doesn't go into too much detail of what happened to him. But this witch that we're talking about, Hattie, back in the day was accused of being a witch and they killed her and her two children. And Eric Roberts was the sheriff back in that time. Well, it turns out that the sheriff is a blood relation to Layla and her dad and mom. So Danny Trejo, Wells, you find out later, her his son used to date her or however um, wanted those two to be apart so there's animosity between Layla and Wells it turns out later on you find out that he figured out that he's that she's the bloodline of this Sheriff Ridley and he kind of made a mistake he apologized for it so what happens is there's a ruby that was a ruby necklace that was on Hattie that when she killed the town was cursed in this jewel. So because of the bloodline, this gem, jewel, whatever, necklace, the little girl Layla found. And when she put it on, it summoned Haiti. So that's how this movie got started. All of a sudden, the kids started getting sick and so forth. They would go into a coma and die. It's all because of this curse from Haiti. So that's how the story goes. So it turns out that the doctors are trying to find a cure. They can't find anything wrong. And then Kay, uh, Layla finally met with Wells. And Wells told his story that when he was younger, his, mo uh, his mother and other friends had that necklace on. And they were all killed. And he, he lived because he had a Bible and had faith. Now the journey is to stop her. I'll say no more than that. There's more to this movie that meets the eye. It's a really cool movie. Paced very well. Then later on, Bishop comes in, Oliver, to Bill Burst Jr., to try and get the evil spirit, the witch, away from Layla. But it only made it worse. So that being said, this is Gruesome Herzog. I give this film a 7 out of 10. It's a fun film. I was shocked. I didn't think I'd like it. But it is a good film. So definitely check it out. I'll post it. It's on Tubi. I'll post a link below the review, and you can watch it there. That being said, this is Gruesome Herzog, and I'm out of here.